That's recording, dude. It's hard. Mm, really? That's gonna be the <laughs> intro to <laughs> no. our video. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Suhey, as most of you guys know, also known as Ruby. I go by both names. I'm just Tulio. Or July, can... as most of us know, July from the Fresno area. Marina. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing the Q&A video and we had a lot of questions. So pretty much we have them all down on her phone and she's gonna be reading them off. We're gonna answer them in no specific order. And then we're also not gonna be saying people's names. First question, three things that get annoying of each other. You start, <laughs> ladies first. Yeah, uh, three things. I have my three already. That's rude. And they're not that hard. My number one is how you get hella moody when you don't eat. Number two is after you eat certain types of foods, your farts stink. <laughs> You're so tough. <laughs> number, <You're hella> <laughs> number three. That's not true. She gets sick like seven times a year, which is very annoying. What are so your three she, things? Um, so one of them, every single time I tell him like, oh, let's go eat. He always says, you choose. And then I'll be like, okay, I want to go eat here. And he's like, no, like not that. And then I'm like, like yesterday that I told you, I want Subway. Okay, you <laughs> always want Subway. And then you're like, no. You know, no. it's it's because when she picks a place, it's always Subway. Like it's never like this. Or, like I introduced her to Chipotle, so she always wants Chipotle now, and I'm fine with it. But Subway, I don't like Subway. I'm not gonna say yes to something I don't like. Well, you say choose, and I chose. But not Subway. This is a really hard question. It wasn't that hard for me. Okay, another one that annoys me is like whenever he's parking my car and he goes all. All the way back like to reverse and he's about to hit the car and i'm always telling him like i always have to scream at him <laughs> why do you look okay confused? <laughs> okay this smart person doesn't realize her car has a backup camera which notifies you how close you can get to a okay, car okay every single thing you said about me i didn't give you an explanation i have it. to give an explanation this makes you sound super stupid well yeah that's one of the she doesn't th know how to use her backup camera that's yes why. i do but i just don't feel like i need to get really close to the cars to reverse back and then go forward like it's just going back a little bit and then just going straight out. Like, you don't really have to go all the way back. Once, once you can parallel park, we'll talk. It's really hard because I love everything about you. You take so you. long, my watch disappeared. <laughs> I said I love everything about you and you just ignored You did not say you love everything about me. I just said that a second ago. No, you didn't. I said it's I really hard. It. Who's in charge of the fun stuff? Me. Literally, me. We're gonna take a trip. I have to plan it. We're gonna go and have a good dinner. I have to plan That's it. That's not true. <laughs> That is not true. Hell no. If it was for you, since we started dating, all we would be eating is McDonald's. But yeah, everything. I, I'm in charge of the good eating, as you can tell. Yeah, which is why you make me choose all the time. I won't plan a trip unless yeah. it's like far away. And I'll just do it like once a year. She likes taking like little trips. Okay, the only trip he'll actually plan is going to Mexico. And then whenever he says, oh, we're going to go to Mexico, it's not like, oh, we're going to plan and go to Mexico. He's like, get your stuff. We're leaving to Mexico in like two weeks. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah, like, last... let me get my life together first. And then we'll take a trip. Literally, last time we left to Mexico, I gave her two week notice. That's what you're supposed to give two week notice. <laughs> yeah, not for me. Who is it? Anthony. Anthony, we will we'll do a collab pretty soon once we go to Fresno. How would you describe so hey in three words? Uh, energetic, very talkative, and confident. What are you all dreams? My <laughs> dreams are I just want to be wealthy enough to provide for my family. Like I don't want to be rich, like like just blowing money. I mean it'd be cool, but I just want to have enough money to like provide for me and my future family, my seven kids. I want to finish college. I'm almost done with college, and I want to continue with my master's and then hopefully buy a house right after I finish my master's. Are you guys a jealous couple? Y'all goals, by the way. Thank, Thank you. And uh, no, I'm not, no. I don't get jealous at all, literally. I feel like we're not because we have so much trust in each other. Like, we don't really have to worry about that. I feel like that's one of the things that have kept us together for so long, that we trust each other no matter what. And we always have given each other space to like, if you have to go here, you have to do that, like go for it. And like, I don't have to be in back of you at all times. I live the nightlife, I'm a DJ, so I'm always a around you know people and she's never with me so she trusts me she'll go out sometimes with her friends or whatever and i don't really care because i trust her so what is one thing you love about each other the fact that she understands me sometimes better than i can understand myself without me having to say it i think one thing i like i love about you is the fact that like no matter but even though if we're going through like some hard stuff or if i'm going through some hard stuff like he always tries to find a way and like make me laugh or find a way to keep it positive it's like yeah you're going through hell right now but we'll find it like we're, there's a solution to it or 
just stay positive and I feel like that's what I love about him that he's always so positive about our life together that it's like we shouldn't be always negative and I always used to be like a really negative person like if you were to do something negative to me like I would attack and I've learned to not do that I've learned to just stay positive and that's because of him I even make her laugh when she's mad it's really funny yeah what do you think about jealousy in a relationship any advice jealousy can honestly ruin a relationship it's a really open-ended question every person views it differently but jealousy is definitely something a relationship can overcome as a whole and in order for relationship to succeed jealousy has to be minimized i mean there's just people who are generally jealous but there comes a point where you just have to trust your person but if that person's giving you reasons to be jealous then there's, there's something going on right there and then that's when communication should come in and like communicate with each other like hey like this is going on like you know like i'm feeling this type of way i feel like one of our things too like key for us it's that we communicate about everything like no matter how mad we're with each other it's like we always communicate like oh i don't like this, this even if it's through text message through phone call through word like facial whatever it is like we, we communicate with each other to the point where we're like okay like disney stop but it's never i don't think it's ever gotten to the point where it's been like oh i'm so jealous of this person that we have to find a solution to that you know it's always been like okay i don't like anything else i would say is just don't compare yourself to other relationships either because mm -hmm. i've noticed a lot of people especially nowadays like they want to be something someone else is and just focus on what you guys are and kind of build that imagine your relationship being little lego blocks mm -hmm. just build it create your own little robot your own little lifestyle because that way it's that's like one of the it's more advice. real try to be yourself how did you guys meet so for this one there's a video just yeah. for this and this video is actually like really funny but <laughs> just know that we can't really answer this here but just wait so for the video long. just like, wait for so the video long, but we're gonna make the video really short so you guys can be like yeah. wow how old are you guys <laughs> I'm currently 24. I'm 20. We'll be 21 soon. And there's a video coming up just for that. Yeah. Do you guys go to school or work? I went to school. I did vocational schooling. I'm done with that. I'm kind of going to school, but not really. It's hard to explain. Well, you're, you are going to start going to school back. He has to do like a whole class. I have to take courses and mm -hmm. stuff too. I have to do a certain amount of hours, take a course, and then I get certified. Then do more hours, take a course, get certified. So yeah, technically I'm still educating myself. For me, I went to SABA and then which is a high school and then i went straight to csumb known as california state university of monterey bay and then i am currently there will be there for four years but th i'm already on my third year and then after that i'll be doing my master's I haven't decided where um but yeah i do go to school i currently work but i don't consider it work because i only work like maybe like once a month <laughs> so <laughs> always working throughout the whole year but i'm not working like every single day have you guys ever broken up no <laughs> next question <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't broken up. We no. haven't, but I mean, okay, we did break up. Why? The first time we broke up was for. It, there's a petty little breakup. It was like for a minute. <laughs> the first time we broke up was for a minute, and then the second time we broke up was for ten minutes. So we don't consider them as breakups, but people do consider them as breakups when we tell them we haven't. But then we're telling like it was just like a minute, and then ten minutes are like. Yeah, that was a breakup, so I don't know. It's up to you guys to decide if we did break up or not. Okay, how long have you guys been dating for? How long? How long? <laughs> you don't know. I remember. I remember too. Me too. I remember. Okay, I'll say how many so years. Three years, say? five months. Three years and five months. Too long. <laughs> Do you guys plan on having kids? If so, how many? I want a big family for Christmas. I want grandpa, me, to get lots of presents. I want to take care of all my grandchildren. So I only want to have one kid. You said two. Okay, maybe two. I'm considering Then accidentally it. three, maybe four. <laughs> and then we'll adopt no, one. No, 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 no. Um, I come from a very, very big family. So I only want two kids. If so, two. If lucky too, in other words. But I kind of just want one. Um, Accidents happen. No, they don't. And then I do plan on adopt one. So two of mine and one adopted. That's my goal. Four of ours, one adopted. <laughs> no, that is not happening. Give us a couple years. You guys no, see. I'm sorry. Next guys, question. No. Is marriage a primary goal? Nope. No. Never walk into a relationship thinking, I want to marry you because mm -mm. That, that's, that's just not That's how. one of the advice that we should probably give them, huh? Don't think this person's going to be forever. Because if you do think about that, you're always going to be putting yourself less. You're always going to feel like you're not worth it. Always make sure, like he said, he likes about me that I'm very confident. He's very confident the same way. We're always thinking like, oh, I mean, it's rude to say it like this, but it's like, you're not going to find anything better than me. But in reality, it's like we both have to understand that we're both equally the same to the point that if we were to break up, we would be losing a lot from each other not just one person and for you to be coming into the mindset of you're gonna marry someone it's not nah. don't let that be your yeah. first thought like oh i'm dating you because i want to marry you mm -hmm. no marriage in my opinion is just a piece of paper what really brings two people together is their connection 
Marriage yeah. is just a way to show it off to the world. Hey, we're married. Mm -hmm. We love each other. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a paper. And a lot of people are like, oh, like, why don't you guys don't plan on getting married or stuff? It's like, we do plan on getting married. We're just thinking like... We don't have, we're not, like, we don't have an urge. Yeah, because it's like, you're just, like, you're just gonna throw a party. You're just gonna waste a lot. And then taxes come along. You're gonna have to pay for more taxes. And then if you don't have a kid and like our goal to be honest with you guys we're not planning to have kids anytime soon we still have a lot of like we want to continue with school we want to continue like taking trips we take a lot of trips a lot of our friends know that we're always traveling so that's a really hard thing for us to think about like marriage at this point when we'd like to be and then it's not that we like to be free because it's, we're not like always doing our own thing but we like to know that like we have the trust with each other that we don't have to get married for us to be forever together because we know that we both love each other and our heart's always going to be like that so we don't need a paper to demonstrate that but i mean everybody has different perspectives but in our relationship marriage is not a primary that's all oh that's all of them. <laughs> yeah that's all of the questions that were asked all right guys well that's our q a mm -hmm. uh if you guys have any more questions, questions feel free to dm us on instagram just stay tuned for our next video our next video is pretty entertaining so we're gonna mm -hmm. do a who knows me better loser from us two has to pay up in a certain way which is gonna be super funny for those and then also like people have been asking me like when are you gonna be posting and our goal is to post once a week like that's what we want to be posting once a week and then i also want to thank every single person that actually bothered watching our videos like we honestly we sound got really over rude. 400 <laughs> views on our first video and for us that's, that's a insane. big insane i like, didn't even know i had that many friends <laughs> you're bad no but honestly like you guys might be like oh 400 views is nothing but for us that's a lot because we actually we honestly we're coming into the mindset of like maybe like 50 people are gonna yeah watch literally we were expecting like 50 and views. we honestly were like we're probably gonna have like five subscribers and we honestly want to thank every single person that took the time to share to subscribe and to watch our video and especially those people that decided to share our video without us asking us to or whatever like thank you so much like it's really appreciated and we know that you guys are watching us you know mm -hmm. and we hope to continue producing grow. content yeah. you know it's you guys like this we want to do it we have ideas to get our new camera get some lighting get all this stuff to pretty much steamrolling because mm -hmm. it was pretty motivational to see 30 subscribers and i think in our first hour we got like 100 something views but in total from a week 400 people took the time out of our day to watch our video and it's our first video and honestly we come we're not doing this because oh we want to become famous or whatever like we're really not doing this for that we're just doing it because we have a lot of friends of ours that are doing youtube and they're always asking us like oh why don't you guys do youtube like you guys are like always like taking trips you guys are always doing fun things like people want to see that and that's what we decided to do it um because you guys are gonna see in our videos like our basic our channel we want to make it more like taking trips and exploring new things and making it seem like we see it. not a family channel it's more like a relationship channel kind of yeah kind of until we have a kid then it's gonna become a family channel but, but that's then, not no. That's not our primary. So you guys are going to be seeing on our channel a lot of us taking trips and doing crazy things and dumb things and all that stuff. We might even go bungee jumping one day. I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how to do that. Just for the video? That. And then one day I'll probably end up doing his makeup too. <laughs> what? I didn't agree to that. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. And please continue to watch our videos. Subscribe and share if you guys can. Also ring the little bell whenever the next video comes out Please go ahead and watch it. But so far this has been our Q&A our second video Hopefully we can get the same amount of views mm -hmm. on this one or maybe even more it'd, it'd be super cool if we did but if not then... But thank you honestly, even if we don't thank you We're gonna continue doing YouTube and see where we go from here. Our next video will be out This Friday so in five days yeah. Taking out our next video. All right guys. So my name's Julio. My name's Ruby known as Suhey or Suhey known as Ruby <laughs> But from this channel, I think I'm just gonna keep it as Suhey. I mean, as Ruby. So basically, the people that keep calling me Suhey just know that I'm gonna be known as Ruby. And I'll explain in the next video too why people call me Suhey and Ruby, both of them. Ruby just sounds cooler. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we're gonna conclude our video here. Thank you once again. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And thank you for watching. Stay dry because it's raining right now in Santa Cruz. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>